Good evening, good evening. Good evening. It's the last good night. Good evening, Tita Te. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Joshua. <laughs> good evening, Tita Te. Good evening, yeah, 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 yeah. Good evening, Tita Susan. Good evening, Ascargas and the Cruises. Good evening, Games. Hi, Giselle. Good evening, Acostas. Raimundos. Ruiz. Benson. Hello, Pastor. Good evening, po. Evening. Hi, Eva. How are you? Doc Josie. Hindi lo ako ka Sister Josie o Doctor ka daw sabi ni Sister Mimi. Doc Josie. Bagay, bagay. Bagay. Hi, Idrick. Nagahay ni si Evan. Nagahay na nga si Evan. Bata na. Hi, Evanski. Hi. Hi, Tita Bing. Hi, Idrick. Hello po. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Hi, Oh, I'm not jacket. Si Hi, Angeli and Eric. <laughs> Hi, CJ. Hi, Sister Rose. Hello, po. Good evening, po. Good evening. Hi, Daniel. How are you? <laughs> Talaga naman kaway ng kaway si Eva, no? Parang, parang artista. <laughs> Hindi suplado. Sa TV, kaway ng kaway. Sa personal, suplado. Fake news. <laughs> Hi, Rachel and Jairus. Good evening, Darren. Hello, hello. Mabuhe. Magay ka naman na. Magay ka. Magay ka. Ay mo dapat is music ko ngayon. Hi, Sister Faith. Hello po. Good evening po. Good evening po. Good evening po sa lahat. Good evening, Brother Dave. Hi, Heather. Kamusta, kamusta naman? Last night na. At uh, it's our last night. We survived. Makain na tayo. <laughs> Malang na kumain. Ba? 
there's a song, Break It To Me Gently. So when you break fast, uh, don't go to a buffet or eat all you can when you, when you break your fast. <laughs> Hello, Nathan. Hello po. Good evening sa lahat. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, Sister Janet. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Kamusta ka? Good evening po. Good evening po. Good evening, Sister Elvie and Pastor. Po. Salamat po sa uh, prayers nyo. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> okay na, Pastor. Para oh, wala okay. nangyari, Pastor. Kailang <laughs> walang anestesia. <laughs> Sakit daw po, wala anestesia. <laughs> Pag-jogging tayo bukas, Pastor. Naka-bandage <laughs> okay pa po yung paan <laughs> Ay, parang ano ako, parang ano yun, nasa jet death chamber. <laughs> death chamber. <laughs> Ginano nyo mga napasar eh. Una, nakagano'n pa tapos pabalik. Hello. Evening, Anastasios. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Happy birthday. Mm. <laughs> Sa ano pa po, kusina pa po. Hi, what's your good cup? Good evening, Pastor Bong. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening sa inyo lahat. Alright, so habang hinihintay natin yung iba, yung iba 808 pa lang naman eh. Uh, some reminders. Sa Sunday, don't forget to wear rubber shoes. And uh, no high heels or leather shoes. And uh, we might, we might use the gym. Depende sa, sa temperature and comed results. Para mas safe, for us to be uh, more safe and uh, warm no, and dry on Sunday. And then right after lunch, eh, we can proceed with the basketball right away. So don't forget, don't forget to wear rubber shoes. And also, don't forget to wear black hoodies or jacket or your lapilnas hoodies. All right. So we might take our family picture for our website and banners. So please uh, don't be absent. Hi, Anaya. Announcement also. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, on on uh, tomorrow, uh, all men. Our first uh, uh, usapang lalaki. Gentleman's talk. Yeah. We we'll talk about finances. 2 p.m. Uh, we might use the office. So, because I, it, I think it will be raining tomorrow. So, keep warm, keep dry, stay safe. All right, let's start. Paki papasukin na lang po yung mga padating pa at uh, magsisimula na tayo.
All right, it's 8.11. It is our last night for our 2023 prayer and fasting Zoom gathering. So the end of our uh, prayer and fasting will be tonight, 12 midnight. So congratulations, you made it. That's, that is like four hours away from, uh, from this hour. So let's start with prayer requests and praise report. Anybody? Praise report, prayer request. Who wants praise to start? Report. Go ahead, Pastor. Uh, nagpapasalamat at, uh, wala na, I'm no longer under the weather. <laughs> Amen. Mahirap po magkasakit talaga sa Amerika. Lalo na lalo na kapag uh, naulit. Uh, yung ano? Ano ba tawag doon? The second, second time around na uh, trangkaso eh. Talagang mahirap. Relapse. Relapse, uh, Pastor. Po. <laughs> Pagka nag-relapse. <clears throat> At nagpapasalamat din po ako sa panalangin nyo. Na even last night talagang... Uh, Nagpapasalamat po ako na sa gag ginawaan ang Panginoon. At kanina nga po natapos na. Uh, medyo ano lang talagang pag walang anestesia talagang masakit. <laughs> uh, pero hmm. ano lang, uh, kaya naman yung pain talaga. Mas masakit pa yung nagpapabunot ng ipin eh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sunod-sunod nga lang nang hina po yung katawan ko pero I'm regaining uh, strength. Uh, at uh, purihin po ang Panginoon na uh, truly there's uh, power in prayer. Kaya wag po tayong manghinawa na sa, uh, sa mga panalangin. Let's keep on praying for one another. Salamat po. Amen. We're glad that you're okay, Pastor. Yeah. Yes. Anybody else? Praise report. Carl James. Finally done with all backlogs uh, since December 2022 and assigned tasks sa work. Po. Wow, congratulations. Praise the Lord. Praise report. Go ahead, you sir Faith. Um, hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, I just want to share yung praise report ko for today. Because many of you uh, perhaps are aware that I already filed my resignation in the in my work in the Philippines. No, I from from UP. And then I know I was I I uh, my my office mates were already processing my clearance, and then I. I was informed by the cashier's department that I need to have a personal land bank account in order to get my, my benefits, mga ganon, pag pinroses po. Unfortunately, yung personal bank account ko, the last time I had that with the same bank, I have I need to have it in that bank because that's where, that's the bank that, that is used by the government. So the last time I had that was when I was still a student. So wala na po akong active personal account. Now, I'm just amazed kanina po kasi I just realized how God is orchestrating our steps. Like I didn't know that a decision in 2021 will be necessary for what will happen in 2023. Kasi noong 2021 po, I still serve as the the, the uh, parang the head the head of uh the student welfare over institute. Tapos during that time, parang the Lord has led me to Ano ba yun? Parang spearhead several activities. Uh, parang spearhead fundraising activities for our students. Kasi we realize that many of our students do not have enough money for their food. Um, they choose to stay near the university kasi hindi sila makapag-aral sa bahay nila since it's an online setup. So when they stay at home, they have a lot of responsibility. So most of them stay near the campus but they don't have money for food for rent so we're trying to raise funds for the students so that's why i opened i opened another account in land bank under my name 
And then under the, parang yung co-chair ko, I have a co-chair. So under both of our names. Now, I was reminded of that this morning kasi I panic, sabi nila, the, the only way for me to open a personal bank account is to go back to the Philippines. Eh, hindi ko po magagawa ngayon yun. So, baka hindi na po makabalik. So anyway, I contacted yung co-chair ko. Sabi ko, sir, have you used the account that we opened in 2021? Sabi ko, kasi I'm, I would like to ask a favor if I could use it for my personal account na lang. Parang ganun. Kasi hindi naman po siya nakalink sa university. Tapos sabi niya, ma'am, tamang tama, your, your, your chat is timely because just yesterday, we had a meeting with the director. She explained to us that you already resigned from, from the office. So she, she decided to open another bank account that will be officially used by the by the committee so that we don't have any use for the bank account that we opened so parang magaga in short yung inopen ko po ng 2021 yun yung magagamit ko ngayon so parang kanina na amazed lang ako na ah kaya ko pala siya inopen ng time na yon not for the that for that purpose pero in 2023 i would be needing it so parang wala lang po na amazed lang ako tapos kanina yung morning my devotion was about God guiding our steps and it was uh, a very personal and powerful reminder for me how God orchestrate our steps if we would just ano lang parang heed whatever he has or the burden that he has put in our hearts so yun lang po natuwa lang ako sa Panginoon tapos um I was also to I was also able to uh, to contact the university that I'm, uh, I'm currently enrolled in. And they were very helpful in arranging yung mga courses that I'm going to take for this session and next session. And next session, I will be able to start with my internship na rin po. So parang, I'm just thankful to the Lord that so far things have been very smooth for my transition here. So yun lang po. Thank you, Lord. Wow. God is uh, opening yung uh, pathway. Amen. Sabi nga ni Rachel, para dito pa. <laughs> ano Rachel? No nakita mo ba si Faith? Sinabi mo rin na ah, sa amin to. <laughs> All right, praise report. Uh, praise report kay Jan. Or prayer request. Anybody? Good evening, Pastor Rave. Good evening, iPhone. Ano pong name ni iPhone? Good evening. iPhone, iPhone. Come in. Baka po si Tito Ibes. Ah, oo oh, nga po. Alright, alright. Praise report, praise report, prayer request, meron pa? Okay, so kung wala na, eh, we will start with our uh, pagbubulay-bulay. So let's start with our ano. Pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos. No? But this time, it's kind of different since uh, ano tayo, uh, this will be our last night. Eh, you will be the one who will share, not me. All right? So, there are different types of fasting, right? You know, there, are, there are some who did the no meat, no sweets, or no rice, etc. No? Giving up something na you really like. Or the others, the man, full fast, no, they drink only liquids. Others, the man, uh, had no multimedia, TV, phone, internet, etc., Korean novella, whatever. Number four, the Daniel fast, no. Uh, there are some of you who ate only fruits and vegetables. Some of you had the partial fast. They ate just breakfast, no lunch or dinner, or lunch only, no breakfast and dinner, or uh, breakfast and lunch only, no dinner, or some of you had dinner only, but no breakfast or lunch. No, and others na you uh, agreed with the Holy Spirit na you will uh, fast uh, 
na, na anong fasting ang gagawin nyo. Alright? So, we had our devotions no, on day one. Uh, we talked about forgiveness. Day two, uh, anxiety. Day three, lion's den. And day four, kahagabi, uh, watch your mouth. No? So, these are the questions na kumbaga, our guide questions for tonight. No? Share to us what was your fasting style or yung type of fasting that you used. No? Number two, what was your prayer request while you were fasting? Diba? Merong, there's this uh, part na you, uh, supplication. Diba? Kasi while fasting, while praying, there's supplication, there, rep there is repentance, there is uh, mourning, there is... Uh, uh, th those were the things that you did uh, throughout the week. You know? But specifically, what was your prayer request you know, uh, for the five days of prayer and fasting? Number three, what are your takeaway from our devotions? You, know? you can choose one or two, three, four, or whatever na, no, na, na really na nag-stand out sa you and uh, you, you felt like the Lord is dealing uh, with you. All right? So, game ka na ba? What we're going to do is uh, we will, uh, ano, gagayain natin yung youth. No? So, we will choose the first, vol unless may magbo-volunteer, no? If there is a magbo-volunteer, uh, that will be the first person. And then, that person will choose the next person who will share. Alright? So, let me ask you first, who wants to volunteer? <laughs> Volunteer? Any volunteer? So anyway, I will post the guide questions. Don't worry. So we have messages here. Good evening sa inyong lahat from Pastor Ray. Praise report. Halos pasado po ako sa lahat ng classes ko last sem po. Just waiting on one more class. Praying for a good results po. Ayan. Si PQ. Alright. So any volunteer? Or uh, anihin natin ang roleta ng kapalara? <laughs> Who wants to start? Volunteer, volunteer. So here are the questions again. Alright. So what was your fasting style or type of fasting that you used? So what was your... Oops, no wala. What was your prayer request you know, while doing the prayer and fasting for five days? What are your takeaway from our devotions? You know? So here are the type of, types of fasting na ginawa natin. So ready game for meetings. And so volunteer, anybody? Okay. Oh, we have a volunteer. From uh, Edder, Anjali, and Edric. Go ahead, Gamis family. You start. <laughs> All right, so I guess <laughs> I'll go first. Um, for me, my fasting style was a 16 hour fast um, mm -hmm. every day. Um, I wouldn't eat till like maybe 12 p.m. and only like pretty much one meal a day. That was what I agreed on, and that was what seemed uh, to fit the best for me. Um, the second question was, um, what was the uh, second question again, sorry? Second question is, oops, sorry. Can you put it in the chat? Uh, what was your fasting style? Uh, what was okay. your prayer request? Yeah, so my prayer request was, of course, for my health, but I would say the second thing was uh, to help me come closer to God. Um, I think those two were my my main uh, prayers. Um, and then my takeaway from the uh, devotions would be, you know, I connected a lot with uh, day two and day three. Um, so I really took away that it's okay to share and have an open mind because you, sometimes when you're going through, you know, some sort of, uh, like trial, you think that you're alone, but in fact, there's a lot of people that are going through the same thing. So I think by sharing and being a little bit more like vulnerable, it, um, helped me to understand that I'm not alone and I'm not going through it by myself. 
Um, so that was my takeaway. And also being able to accept God and and be 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 strong with my faith and not care or like worry what someone else is uh, thinking about me. So that was my amen. So for me, I did the 16 hour fast as well. Um, and my prayer request was, um, and is still protection, um, just with the things going on in the world, you know, um, there's a lot of, you know, violence and just a lot of killing and, you know, it's just scary. Um, and at work too, there's a lot of, um, you know, crazy people around and it's just, you need to, to be more vigilant about your surroundings. Um, and that, that was just my prayer request. Um, I needed protection from God and he did that yesterday. Um, and, and he does it, he does it all the time with um, when we're driving or we're just going to the store because anything can happen. Um, and my takeaway would be, I, I wrote it down, so I'll just read it. Um, I'm grateful to have been part of this prayer and fasting. I usually fast for dietary reasons, but this week it was more than just that. I'm not perfect, but I know that God understands everything in my heart. I'm thankful for the uplifting messages for this week and everyone's personal stories. What I've learned is that God will always forgive, forgive us and he is the one who can, we can tru truly lean on when we feel anxious and stressed out. He will always protect us and guide us in life. I learned we must forgive and forget and we just cast our worries to him and that he is our protector and deliverer. And no matter what we utter, he will love us unconditionally. And he is the Alpha and Omega. And my only goal in life, goal in life is to do my best to follow him and meet him when the day comes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was prepared. <laughs> yeah. I Very love it. Prepared. <laughs> and then uh, can we get to pick the next person oh yeah we get to, of course you know <laughs> we're, gonna we're, pick. we're gonna pick Kylie and then yeah <laughs> 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 <I'll be right. laughs> okay. I'm expecting that <laughs> uh, for me I did the partial fast and I also gave up coffee for five days I also tried to give up um, as much uh, as much sweets as I can but there were days that I slipped so I asked God for forgiveness already and for the prayer request since I gave up coffee and that was my uh, source of energy in the morning I asked God to to provide me that energy because the first two days I was very sluggish and really feeling weak that I just wanted to sleep because I, I haven't had my coffee. But the last three days was, was better. Uh, I didn't have any headache or I just felt the energy that, that I prayed for from God. And my takeaway, I think I related to day one and day four the most about forgiveness and about what, watching your words because for forgiveness there was just one one person in my past that I really I really had a hard time forgiving but with God's grace that I was able to forgive and move on and and then for the watch your mouth I'm still a work in progress then. Um, I always try my best to, to, you know, think before I speak to anyone, especially with, with my kids as well. Sometimes I just, you know, we're parents, sometimes we lose our patience 
and we say things that that we don't mean <laughs> but i thank god that you know he's he's always there to remind me to you know to think first before you speak because words are powerful you can't take back whatever you you utter and and also i just pray that this devotion is not just for five days like this not the end of it but it's just the beginning to you know to continue to to do what god wants us to do and like what Eder said, to be closer to him. We love God. Amen. I'm a blessed man. My wife is crying. I knew. <laughs> Before you choose uh, Aileen, um, uh, if ever you wish to continue on with uh, the, the, the fasting um, uh procedure you can do so no wala naman po bibigil sa atin uh, you're free to ano, continue no if you if ever you wish to all right so go ahead uh Aileen please uh choose the blessed next person <laughs> Rachel and Giles Rachel <laughs> sabi niya kana kabahan <laughs> So, ang um, mauna po muna ako. So, ang um, fasting ko will be, ano po, um, yung, yung partial din po, parang one, one meal per day. And then, um, uh, dineactivate ko po lahat ng social media ko for this weekend. I think, parang healthy naman siya. <laughs> healthy naman na walang social media. So, ang um, next one will be my prayer request for this fasting and prayer prayer and fasting will be ano po um, um yung about po sa kuya ko yun nga po na um first day pa lang po ng fasting it was ano answered prayer already that ano they have scheduled for medical this coming Tuesday so based the Lord po and then um I'm praying for for myself din po to become a better praise and worship leader and um, kids teacher and leader din po board uh, and a board member din po so and then um next one ko po will be um um yung prayer ko po for our family i mean for our family including yung board exam ko po yung driving test ko rin po and then yung pay rise and then yung sa enrollment po ni Jairel for this coming January 17. And then I'm praying for, ano po, may pahabol na prayer request po ako. This prayer and fasting will be yung sa business po nung, nung boss namin. Kasi I think, ano, nasa low po siya um, this season. So I'm praying for her din po na uh, this season makayanan niya po yung, ano, yung mga lows niya. And then my takeaway will be, I think the bottom line of our lessons sa, sa fasting po natin will be ano, yung trusting, um, trusting God. Kasi um, if we don't trust God and we don't live for Him, we cannot forgive others, we cannot um, overcome anxiety, uh, we're not going to be like careful with our you know, words. So we, we really need to trust and live for him. So yun po yung take away ko. So si Jairus na po. Hello po. Ako po ang ginawa ko sa uh, fasting. I did the same as Rachel. Nag one meal a day lang po. But um I still hydrated myself the whole day because I need to. Um, and then, makain lang ako pag, I think pag uwi ko po galing sa work. So the whole day, hindi po ako makain. Uh, just water and protein shake in the morning. Tapos po, um, ang pinag ko po is since kasama na po lahat ng pinag ni Rigel, but I added yung more provision for our family. 
um, kasi nga po um, yung mga bilihin ay uh, the the commodities eight hey, radio said I should speak in English so people got uh, some non Tagalog speakers could understand um so please bear with me um the commodities uh, like uh what um brother Dennis was complaining about like the eggs you know um the commodities are rising in the inflation but our salaries are not getting any better especially for teachers and other people that are working for the school district we're still waiting for our race so that's what I fasted for um and then I also fasted for our kids um you know future um since my wife was praying for their present I prayed for their future um my takeaway is I think um so far this week has been my toughest week at work I have never encountered a lot of the things that I encountered this week before in my career as a school nurse um I think I almost made our school almost made the news but I'm not gonna say why because it's very confidential but I figured some of you might have guessed why um and then I I on top of that like you already don't have the physical energy uh, for for your work the whole week but um like what we are all trying to learn uh, the whole week nah, we must not show that we look gloomy but you know we gotta still look cheerful like we all have the end so that's what I was trying to portray the whole week and thankfully I made it and because um not on my own strength but I um you know I I prayed for um strength from the Lord you know to just rely on the my spiritual strength with the Lord not my physical strength and I was able to um to do it um and on top of that I think my my kids our kids learn how to do their routine so by around seven 30 I think they're asleep already because we need to go to the meeting by eight peacefully so yun po ang ating take away amen thank you brother Jai Sister Rage next victim <laughs> um taka lang po Anastasia family daw po <laughs> Kasi birthday ni Ate Jasmine. Ayan na, birthday girl. Yeah, birthday girl. Originally po dapat Daniel fast eh, pero we were recuperating from uh, cough tsaka uh, no, sipon. Mm, sakit. So we decided na we give up rice tsaka sweets. So yun po yung finas namin. And then... Oh. Um, prayer is a breakthrough sa family. Um, yun po yung isang nangyat. Nasagot na po agad yung raise as well do. Praise the Lord. And then um, yung sa citizenship mo sa 25 yung kanyang interview which we're still praying for. And then yeah, a place of our own which Sister Anna Lu is helping us so praise the Lord. And um our takeaway for me, takeaway devotion is uh, ano, sa kidin, kidin yun, sa, layo, sa lions din, yung not being afraid to share your faith and then stick with your faith, your principles in life. Not being afraid of uh, what others may think as long as you you know your your faith is in God. And then sa'yo, Forgiveness, 
kasi ano uh, mas sa forgiveness na na ano ko na mas meron akong peace of mind at the same time mas magaan sa buhay sa pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay kapag nakakapag pag may kapatawaran para ate yun po ayoko na po umiyak <laughs> thank you Anastasios sino ang pinili ng mga Anastasios Uh, Sister LB daw po. <laughs> Ikaw birthday girl ha. Sige ka. <laughs> so I'm just, I just want to um, praise the Lord po sa prayer and fasting natin. It did uh, a lot of things to me, especially po sa, sa ano po, uh, forgiving. Yung isa po sa ating, ay yung fast, what? What was your fasting style? Yung fasting style ko po because since I'm working, so I have to eat a little. Katulad po ng partial partial fasting is I just have ano po uh, be, uh, fruits and a little of vegetables, maraming okra yung mga ganon. And so I uh I, I refrain from eating some sweets. Hindi naman po ako mahilig sa sweets. It's good okay, enough that I at saka po yung ano yung Uh, from social media, katulad po ni Rachel, Sister Rachel, that I also refrain from opening all my social media, except for ano po, ito pong messenger. And so also, yung prayer request ko po is, um, ako po, yung prayer request ko, it's just, just to see my my kids, yung the whole family uh, praising God together in church. So yun po yung aking prayer request. And even yung mga Even even uh, my family was not yet been uh, uh, ano po, uh, accepted Jesus, especially my brothers. I really want them to be also uh, uh, learn about Jesus. Yung ganun matanggap din siya to accept him also as, he, as their personal Lord and Savior. That was my one of my prayer requests also. And, so, and also my takeaway from our devotions in Before my by before my take up, I would just like to share something because I have a coworker, uh, and uh, I I just recently spoke to her this uh, yes the other day, um, sharing na uh, ng lahat ng mga pain mga pain niya yung mga hinanakit niya. So I said there is only one answer for that. It's just to know Jesus, to have a relationship with Jesus. Sabi ko sa kanya. And then she she nod her head, parang tumangu siya. Yes, I know. So maybe sabi niya, I would try. So maybe one of this Sunday, one of maybe one of ano Sunday, maybe next Sunday or the other Sunday. I don't know. Pero sabi ko, I I, I won't force you. Sabi ko, it's just kung you have to decide kung gusto mo talaga. You have to make it a try. Mm -hmm na magkaroon ka ng relasyon, na personal relasyon sa Panginoon kasi kailangan tayo may Jesus sa puso. And so, and so she said, yes, I will try to come. Siguro po, magiging bisita natin siya. And then, she also wanted to cook for us, sabi niya po sa akin, mag, magbibigay po siya. She was, she was going to bake uh, kasaba, something like that. Sabi niya, so okay, sabi ko sa kanya. And nakapagbahagi po ako sa kanya na importante po talaga na makilala natin si Jesus. At tapos po yung takeaway ko sa lahat ng devotion is just forgiveness. And the Lord forgive us, so we have to forgive also. Kung ano po, at saka po yung watch your mouth. So we cannot retrieve anything na nasabi natin bad. So we have to really be careful in everything that we have to uh, say. Lalo na being a Christian because we are, ano po, we are, ano, we are, we have to, We have to be ano magre-reflect po dapat sa atin si Jesus. So we have to be careful in everything that we say in actions or lahat po ng bagay. So we always have to remember that uh we are ano po yung we are a change change nag-change na po yung buhay natin because of Jesus. We have to show that maging blessing po tayo. Yun lang po. <laughs> <laughs> Survive. Survive. <laughs> Ikaw naman. Ikaw naman. 
po, pastor po, pastor Bong, pastor Bert kayo po. Tapos na ako eh. <laughs> well, uh, thank God for this uh, truly indeed na we need this uh, kind of uh, in uh, in every season we must not only this time but uh, as a believer it must be a part of our lifestyle uh, fasting. You know? Remember when uh, I was in Africa our fasting is uh, Friday uh, but during that time instead of eating we we deliver uh yung mga plastic na naka-plastic na pagkain sa mga uh hindi kumakain yun ang ginagawa namin noon uh i believe it uh it strengthen our faith and we are more sensitive to the leading of the holy spirit fasting is not only to to uh for your own gain but actually it is uh really that uh gain i may say that for you to grow more deeper and intimate with god yun po yung ano natin sa fasting uh eh, hindi yung uh, personal na mga goals natin na matay natin uh it is uh, uh it is unto god no yung kaluwa ng panginoon so yun po yung uh, benefit ng fasting sa akin. I dig more deeper into the Word of God, reading a lot, and even memorizing. Kasi yun ang problema ko ngayon. Uh, yung mga nakaraan lang na mga nangyari, hindi ko na, I cannot recall them anymore. So as if my memory is, uh, uh, yung ano, nag, hoping hindi naman dementia, ano ba yun, or dementia, or, <laughs> Alzheimer. <laughs> Hindi naman. Uh, uh, yun ang uh, para sa akin that benefits me. Uh, even before na yung fasting natin talaga I was not really able to eat well. Kasi nga, uh, sabi nga ni Sister LB, wrong timing ka, sabi niya. Why did you remove all your six tooth, Ana? Sabi niya, na in one sitting. <laughs> uh, Really, it weakens my body. That's why I uh, I I uh, recar no yung yung uh, nakasakit ako le. Kaya mahina yung immune system ko. Kaya prior to our fasting, talagang advanced na yung fasting ko. <laughs> but I thank God na it, it teaches me a lot no. And even this uh, five days, so yung ano natin fasting natin fasting yung patience sometimes ayun nga even uh, our words we must not uh, uh not only in our words but in our thoughts the way things we see our eyes uh in our action we must be watchful naalala ko nga yung matandang pastor sabi niya kahit na sa mga nakikita mo sabi niya sana yung mga mata natin pag gabi sabi niya after the whole day na ginamit natin, sabi niya, sana natatanggal yung mga mata natin, may roska, sabi niya, para tingnan natin kung ano yung mga uh, ugasan natin at linisin natin. <laughs> at ibalik daw natin kung may roska yung mga mata natin. Well, uh, really, it helps us, no? And yung prayer ko, my prayer... Sometimes our prayer are selfish, but I learned to pray. Of course, your family. But for me, I pray for the whole church. I always remember each one, uh, even the kids, you know. And I thank God that our church really is doing the will of God. Not only to the adults, even to the children. You know, ministry and church, natin. we are preparing this these children for the next generation that they will be the one to stand up kung hindi pa dumating ang Panginoon. Uh, at uh, ganun din uh, for the church really na that the Lord will visit us uh, greater much than the things that we are experiencing even this time of uh, crisis. Alam ko na mas sigit pa na kikilos ang Panginoon 
we must expect great things from God. No, na alam ko na the latter rain will come. So yon ang aking ano ang aking takeaway sa ating uh, devotion na uh, truly indeed na uh, uh, my life no ay kagabi nga na kasi yung napanood ko yung lahat ng mga yung mga dumaan ng gano'n ng sa aking case eh mayroong mga namamatay while they are lying on the bed sabi ko pa yun I'm, I'm resting my my life unto you giving unto you whatever the things that will come kaya kapag nasa hospital ako kaya pinapas sa uh, M ano yun, MRI ba yun or ano o kaya nasa operating room ako uh, wala akong ibang inisip kundi yung mga the word of God memorizing them uh, kaya kanina I'm reciting Psalm 23 uh, hoping na na, na uh, we will grow and be deeper more in our uh, relationship with God. Even in this time, uh, talagang panahon na ngayon ay talagang uh, mabilis at uh, marami mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. Kagaya ng nasabi ni Eileen, uh, we, uh, there are a lot of uncertainties in this uh, in this world sa maging sa buhay natin kaya hindi natin hawak ang buhay natin kaya we must uh, prepare ourselves no and we must always be aware and let us focus our mind our impanangin natin sa Panginoon and really indeed all these things will happen pero wag tayong bumitiw sa ating Panginoon and yun ang prayer ko for everyone that we will grow deeper and expect great things from God. And truly indeed, let us be a blessing to others as we make disciples. Amen. Thank you po. Salamat po. At ganun din sa mga panalain nyo. I believe there is really power in prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Sino po ang napupusuan yung susunod? Ah. <laughs> ang napupusuan ko ay itong mga... Parang mga modelo dito na naka, naka ganun. Sino ba ito? Sister ah, Sister Vilma. Sister Vilma. <laughs> Kasi naka ganun dito sa harapan ko eh. Naka... Yeah, Sister Bing, kayo po ba yan? Sister Bing, kayo na daw po. Patawad po. <laughs> bayan nagu minenerbis tuloy ako ah <laughs> uh, ang ano ko po ang fasting ko po sana ay eh. hindi po ako magdi-dinner kaso po nagkasakit naman po ako eh kailangan ko po mag ano nang para po makainom ako ng gamot kaya hindi ko po siya nagampana kaya Humingi po ng sorry kay Lord na siguro po by the other week magagawa ko po siyang, siyang gampanan po yung hindi po mag-dinner para naman po ma, maiano ko po sa kanya na, na nagawa ko po yung fasting ko. Uh, sa ano naman po yung prayer request ko Uh, sa bu- sa buong family po uh, pinapanalangin ko po na sa kanya palagi na ingatan po kami uh, lalo po hindi ko man po mabanggit na po isa-isa kung sino-sino naman po sa ano pamilya uh, yun lang po lagi kong dalangin ingatan po kami tapos uh, wag po kami magkakasakit ng Ma, mga sakit na yun po ma, mapipigat na lalo na po kung hindi po kaya ng ating aming katawa na yung malalang masak, masakit at sa pa rin pong pinipreyer ko yung pong mama ko na ngayon po eh 
lumalaki po yung puso niya at nadagdagan po yung kanyang iniinom na gamot para po doon sa kanyang panibagong sakit po ngayon. At gano'n din po sa akin, nag, din, di, pinray ko rin po sa kanya na huwag po akong pabayaan dahil nga po nagkasakit ako, sana po uh, maging okay po ako at para po maka, makapunta na rin po ako, makabalik po ako muli sa church at lalo, ko po, lalo po akong makapag ano sa kanya at lalo ko pong mailapit yung aking loob sa Panginoon. Uh, at tapos yun naman pong aking take away. Lahat po ng topic natin sa devotion ay may kanya-kanya po yung karanasin natin silang magamit. Uh, sa tulong po ng ating sa tulong po ng pagkakaroon natin ng personal na relasyon sa Diyos ay mas madali po natin itong naisa sa buhay yung oras din po na binigay natin sa gawain na ito ay nagkaroon po lahat ng pagkakataon na makipag-usap sa Diyos para magpasalamat po sa mga biyaya at protection na ibinibigay niya sa atin at mailakip na rin yung mga huling at binadala natin. Uh, at isa pa po yung, meron din po yung sa, yun nga yung, yung topic po kahapon. Uh, minsan po, minsan na kapag salita rin po ako ng, <laughs> lumalabas po sa bibig na may bigla po ako nasasabing hindi maganda, hindi po maganda sa pandemic ng mga uh, sa paligid sa mga tao kaya lagi pong pag ano po yun hinihingi ko po ng tawad at hindi rin naman po mahirap ding humingi ng tawad sa tao halimbawa nasaktan po natin o nasaktan ko po meron po ako nasabi ni maganda uh, at uh, ano pa pa Uh, yung pa po, uh, yung forgiveness po, uh, napaka, napakaluwag po sa kalooban at sa puso po kung, kung nagpapatawad po. Dahil ako, ako po, nag, unang-una, na-stress din po ako at naikwento ko rin naman po yun sa mga ilang taong naging malapit po sa akin at sa inyo din po pastor na kwento ko din naman po yun. Pero ano ba yan? Pero minsan <laughs> minsan po talaga na pilit ko po kinakalimutan pero Uh, minsan po na masakit din pero kailangan ko pong gawin ano uh, magpatawad kasi uh, dyan naman po si Lord para po gabayan ako pasensya na po kayo naiyak na naman ako <laughs> Okay lang, Tita Bing. <laughs> Yung lamang po. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Bing. Thank you po. <laughs> yeah, miyak na tuloy si Jasmine. Si Jasmine na miyak. <laughs> Alright, Tita Bing, sino ang napupusuan mong susunod na paiyakin natin? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, si ano po. <laughs> yung pong kasama ko po dito. <laughs> si, si Jaya and Jerry po. Tinuro oh. ako. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry po sa inyo. <laughs> Naghanap ng damay si Nana. 
Okay. So, yung fasting style po namin, supposedly po dapat partial fast. Di po sana kami mag-dinner. Pero dahil nagkaroon po kami ng unfortunate um, circumstance, di po kami nakapag... Um, Partial fast kasi po umiinom po ng gamot si nanay tapos umiinom din po ng gamot si Derek. Tapos ako po ang tagaluto nila so kailangan po talagang tumikim. <laughs> so buti na lang po, uh, ginive up ko rin po yung mga social media ko. So walang Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, mga ganun po. And then yung, yung prayer request po, wala po talaga akong sp- specific na pinagpe-pray kasi po parang ano po eh halos lahat po answered prayer sa amin since last year po. So pero nung nangyari po yung accident nung Tuesday, ang pinagpray ko lang po is complete healing po nung parehong risk ni uh, ni Derek po kasi hindi po siya makakapag-work kung hindi po gagaling yung kamay at saka baka mas malaking um gastos po kung i-brace po yung kamay niya or ikakas po ganun kung may mag-develop na fracture po um and then ang um, take away naman po uh, siguro po yung nag-stand out po sa amin um, yung day two, yung anxiety po kasi ako po talaga very warrior po kasi nasa jeans po yata namin very obvious naman po na may pagkaiyakin at saka po um Medyo mahina po yung loob, ganun. Um, and also, naging timely po siya gawa nung same day po na yun na accident po. Na accident po si Derek dito sa labas namin na nasnatch nga po yung iPad and then nadrag po siya ng kotse. So, adami pong galo sa katawan, pati po mga pasa, ganun. And then, very traumatic po kasi nakita ng dalawang mata ko kung paano po siya tumalbog sa kalsada. Then, nakatayo lang po ako. Do wala po ako nagawa. So, siguro po kung hindi po tayo nagpa-fasting and hindi rin po kami nagpe-pray um, and hindi rin po namin um, sinarender lahat sa Lord, baka po hanggang ngayon may trauma pa din po. Nandun pa rin po yung pag-iisip every night. Kasi nung gabi po na yun, talagang hindi po kami mag-asawa nakatulog. Kakaisip po kasi baka, iniisip po namin baka bumalik or kung siguro po hindi kami lumabas or hindi namin tinuloy, hindi po siguro nangyari yung accident, ganun. So, and then, nung sinend po sa amin ni Kuya yung video ni Rizel po na nagpe-pray nung gabi na God please uh, help get um, the bad guy Scott, ganun. So, na-feel ko po na doon din po pumapasok yung pag-forgive and forget. Kasi kung hindi po namin kakalimutan, hindi din po makakatulong. And then, inisip ko na lang po na si Lord na yung bahala dun sa tatlong babae po na, na umano po sa amin. Na si Lord po ang magpapakilala sa kanila and tatapik sa kanila sa mga maling ginagawa po nila. Kasi feeling ko po hindi lang kami naging victim nila eh. And then since hindi po namin nakuha yung lahat ng information nila, for sure meron pa po silang mabivictim at mabivictim. So, um, it gives us relief naman po na walang masamang nangyari kay Derek and ang inabot niya lang po ganon. Um, dahil, dahil alam po namin na nandun pa rin po si Lord kasama namin kaya po hinayaan niya po na hindi kami mas mapahama kasi hindi rin po namin alam baka may dalang patalim po yun or kung nanlaban po kami baka sinaksak po kami or binaril po kami dahil wala pong tao sa daan. So sa ngayon po yung sugat na lang po ni Derek yung masakit pero parehong risks po na igagalaw na po. And by God's grace po parang dumaan lang po yung nangyari sa amin and okay na po kami. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jaya. Uh, next, who's next? Sino ang inapili? Uh, si request po ni Nanay Daldida po natawag daw po si Mama Josie and si Papa Noel daw po. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Josie, Papa Noel. Yes, expected naman. Sabi ko na nga ba eh. Uh, nag-pass po kami for uh, meat. Uh, rice and soda for five days. Uh, more on ano, uh, Daniel fasting ang ginawa po namin for five days. Pero mamaya po after ng fasting, mag-in and out kami. 
Ah, tapos, ano nga ano natin? Prayer request. Uh, ang prayer request po namin is uh, for Jorel and Liana, our son and daughter-in-law, na to be with us and uh, serving the Lord at saka yung continue protection sa mga nagdadrive po sa atin, traveling mercy every day, at saka yung healing para sa mga may mga sakit makaramdaman da, da, dahil uh, this season talaga napakaraming nagkasakit uh, including ni tsaka si Jo, si Nanay and hopefully yung mga hindi nakaka-attend every Sunday makabalik na po sa sa church especially si Nanay, Pastor Bert and at tsaka po yung iba. Uh, next is can you take away? Oh, your take away first. Uh, yung takeaway ko po, po namin ay yung... Uh, Ikaw lang. Uh, Sa'yo. Ako. <laughs> yung topic natin na uh, watch your mouth. And dapat po talaga nag-iingat po tayo sa ating mga uh, uh, sinasabi, iniisip. Um, isipin natin kung ito ba ay eh, nakakasakit o nakaka-open sa ating mga kausap sa ating mga anak, sa ating mga kaibigan, sa ating mga kapatiran. Hmm. Lalo na ngayon na mga nakakilala tayo sa Panginoon, mga Kristiyano na tayo. Dapat pipiliin po natin yung mga sinasabi natin. Hmm. Sabi nga po sa Proverbs 23 ay uh, sa Proverbs 2:23, ang pumipigil sa kanyang dila ay umiiwas sa masama. 2123. Tapos um it's sabi din po eh sa Matthew 12:36, pagsusulitan natin ang lahat ng walang kabuluhang sinasabi natin. Kaya doon po rumema sa akin na talagang uh, uh, kailangan bantayan natin yung ating mga sinasabi. Ayun lang ang akin sa iyo. Uh, ang takeaway ko naman is uh, more on anxiety, especially dun sa uh, pandemic na nangyari sa atin the past three years. So, uh, na-experience ko po yun dahil I don't know kung ano mangyari sa akin after na I decided not to work. But uh, si Lord laging faithful sa atin. Kaya laging natin panghawakan yung uh, embrace natin yung mga bo- Uh, promises niya sa Bible and uh, para mag uh, yung faith po natin lalong maging strong para ma-empower po. And lastly, I would like to take this opportunity para pasalamatan ho yung uh, nakiselebrate do sa birthday ko. If you remember, nag-ask po ako ng help para do sa mga bata sa isla. So yung nagbigay po ng blessing nag-share po ng blessing para sa mga bata. Uh, sobra pong saya ng ni Sister Hana, ni Sister Nene, dahil hindi niya po na-expect na uh, makareceive sila ng uh, amount na yon and excited na po sila para sa constructions on pag nag-gumanda na po yung weather. Kasi rainy season sa atin at this time. Eh. So, yun po, i-update ko kayo. At salamat po muli sa mga uh, naging bahagi nung uh, uh, pans na yon para do sa mga bata sa isla na uh, tinutulungan po namin. Salamat po. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Sino po ang inyong napupusuan? Sister Josie, Brother Noel, sino ang next na gusto niyong mag-share? Nakamute po kayo. Oh, yeah. uh, na. Uh, mga dangawin po. Mga kapatid dangawin. na dangawin. Opo. Alright. Sister Janet, Brother Manuel. It's your turn. Nakaon ba si husband? Magandang gap po. Ma, sa, copy-paste ka lang ko sa'yo, ma. Oh, dad, 
Andito ako sa office. Saka huh? hindi ko bisor ko eh. Kami pestala ako sa'yo. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Sa akin po kasi, ang ano po, uh, partial pass. Actually, I have my whole week of radiation to this week. Kaya, partial lang. And then, I had my earphones to feed on the Word of God. Habang naglilinis, nagluluto. Uh, yun, feeding on the Word of God. Doon po sa prayer, actually, I just want to thank God for the manifestation po ng prayers namin. Uh, kami po mag-asawa every day before we uh, pinipilit po namin na bago kami bumangon is manalangin. And one of our prayers is the La Filnas family because we're so much blessed for each and everyone's lives. Sa so buhay po ng bawat isa and uh, we cannot name the La Filnas family one by one. We live We leave each and every family to the Lord. And this uh, prayer and fasting that we have this week is really a manifestation of our prayers. Na, uh, our prayer is that each and every one would have a, a personal encounter with the Lord, that everyone will grow, that everyone will uh, will continue to, to, to know the Lord. At yun na po, I'm so much blessed. Doon sa mga sinabi ng bawat isa na sabi ko, Lord, thank you because this is one of our prayers that each and every one will continue to grow, to know you. And nagpapasalamat po ako. It's it's a blessing na sabi nga doon sa Bible, He who refreshes others, He Himself will be refreshed. So yung prayers po na yan for others, I myself, we as, as a family is being ref- refreshed. Um, tapos po yung word na kagabi, kagabi yung watch your mouth. After that uh, uh, lesson that we had, nag-asa ko ng forgiveness dun sa dalawang anak ko. Kasi usually yung mga outbursts of emotion, yung sudden outbursts ng feeling, kung kitsan uh, nakakapagsalita ka ng mga unkind words, yung sabi ko dun sa dalawang anak ko, anak, I'm sorry. And then they said like, ano yung mami? Kasi sabi ko, sometimes I can, may mga nasasabi akong hindi maganda. And yun nga po, uh, I just, uh, I just thank the Lord for indeed, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yun nga po, amidst of cancer, amidst of this treatment, God is my strength. Dahil truly, indeed, the bread of life really gives the inner strength that we need. Salamat po sa buhay ng bawat isa. Tunay nga na naging pagpapala po kayo. At isa sa mga prayer ko is yung uh, Valencia Group. I'm so excited about it. Kasi po yung mga, yung mga anak ko, may mga friends sila. Sabi ko, Lord, let it be mga nakakilala po sila dati sa Panginoon. Nung nagpunta sila dito sa Amerika, parang nawala, nawala yung parang connection nila. They have, wala silang connection sa sa Christian kung sa spiritual family. So yung pang prayer natin na yung pag nag-open na ng face to face yung Valencia group yung mga friends ng mga anak ko they will be able to to connect once more sa to the family of God. So yun lang po marami pong salamat you are all blessing you are all answered prayers sa so, mga prayers po namin you are all a manifestation of God's goodness that indeed God is an answering God. Marami pong salamat sa inyo. Pagpala po ang aming mga buhay dahil po sa inyo. Thank you so much. God bless okay. po. Thank you po. Salamat po, Sister Janet. Uh, sino po ang napupusuan niyong susunod? Sister Janet, sino po ang gusto niyong sumunod? Si Jaja. <laughs> Sister Janet, nakamute po kayo. Hindi ko nakikita. Raymond the family po sila, CJ. Raymond the family. It's your family. Good evening po everyone. <laughs> um, wait lang po. Paano po ulit? Uh... So yung um, fasting style ko po, uh, magkakaiba po kami 
kada ni ako Tyron tsaka si Baba po. Pero yung sa akin is uh, wait lang. <laughs> yung malay. Um sa akin po is hindi po ako kumakain ng dinner and then um no meat tapos si um sa akin no meat rin pero hindi ako naglalaro ng isang game. <laughs> Ay, kita rin po yun. <laughs> And then, uh, kay Papa, um, mag, uh, mag-share po siya mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, second one is um, prayer request po. Una po is yung um, new blessings po this uh, 2023. And um, yung... Uh, trabaho ko rin po na makaroon po ako ng um, nung tam- papunta po ako sa tamang company uh, this year kasi um, na part po isa po a part po sa mga employees na natanggal po recently sa mass layoff so um, continue to you continue to pray for them also to po and then um, sa kapatid po ni Papa yung tita ko po na uh, may breast cancer po na sana po gumaling po siya and um overall um protection din po sa ating lahat and uh, praying din po sa lahat ng mga nangangailangan po ng prayer sana po masagot din po yung mga prayers nila yun po yung um, aking prayer request and then for um take away for sa devotion um di ko po sure pero feeling ko po magkaiba po kami ni papa <laughs> yeah, at least there po different sa ano so yung aking takeaway po una is yung society. So, um, na-share ko na rin po sa um, most din po na nakakausap ko usually na um, um, even the smallest things po, pinaproblema ko na po. Tapos yung um, problema, yung, yung uh, problema po, so araw-araw naman po siya dumarating. Tapos, um, ang problema ko lang po talaga dun is most of the time parang nagsasabay-sabay. So, parang minsan umabot sa point na di mo na alam kung ano unahin, ganun, ano ba yung dapat i-prioritize, something like that. So, um, one thing I learned din sa, sa prayer is that yung napalala sa akin na cast all your problems, cast all your worries to God. And then, um, alam ko po na once we do that, um, gagabayan tayo ni Lord sa para ma-resolve or na ma-resolve po lahat ng problema at uh, matulungan din po tayo sa everyday everyday ayun po and then share ko lang po is um, yung kasama ko po si Tita Jasmine noon sa Kitty Tita Alice tapos nagpe-play po si Tita Alice ng every morning ng mga Don Moen songs so ang, gin- ang nalala ko po yung nanay ko noon kasi every morning, pag nagpa-play po siya ng mga worship songs, ganyan, parang, una, magpa-play na parang, ay, may problema to. <laughs> parang gano'n. Pero, hindi, hindi naman sa parang gano'n, pero, um, bigla ko lang po naalala nanay ko na nagpa-play po siya ng worship songs. So, alam ko po na parang may problema. May problema po siyang, um, ay, may problema po siya, gano'n. So, um, siguro ang ginagaw, ginagaw ko rin po nun every morning, morning to play din po ako ng mga worship songs din po. Um, malala ko, nangyong nalala ko rin si Mama at saka at the same time parang in, in every morning parang pag nakikinig po ako dun parang nagsastart yung day ko na kasama ko si Lord ganyan. Tapos hindi ako po babayaan which is um, ayun na-enjoy ko po talaga kasi this week um, puno puno po ng um, backlogs and uh, at um, tasks so at least um, binigan din ako ng Uh, in a way, strength. Naramdaman ko po na binigyan ako strength ni Lord para um, matapos po lahat ng mga tasks and um, assignments po. Ganun. And then, you saw watch your mouth din po. Especially sa akin po, pag, um, pag kunwari naiinis po o nagagalit sa isang tao, minsan nauna yung emosyon natin. So, uh, mas mag- maganda po na tama po nung napag-usapan po natin na kailangan isipin po muna natin lahat ng sinasabi natin and then make sure na um, every time we speak nakikita, nakikita si Lord through us so yun po yung aking uh, takeaway po Thank you CJ 
Si James? Meron ba si James? Meron po yan. Ra. <laughs> Ah, meron. Buro ko man ako. Kala ko, tapos na ako eh. <laughs> ah, saan na ako? Ano lang sa ano na lang sa yung prayer, ano ba? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung, uh, yung uh, prayer request nga, yan yun yung sa sister ko nga, kasi nga, first time ko siya na nakita na talagang, wala pala siyang ano, wala na siyang buhok, even yung kilay niya, nasyak ako kasi kausap ko lang siya kanina. And then hopefully sana pagkatapos yung chemo niya, magpa, ma, ma, ma-operan siya, ma, maayos naman. Kasi nag-decide siya is either one, one, one breast or yung, dalo, yung isang isa o dalawa na. Kasi kung hindi niya tatanggal yung isa, baka mahawa. So yun ang inaano niya sa sana hopefully makapag-decide siya sa maging successful yung kanyang operation. Tapos yung pay request ko naman yung ano, natupad naman niya kan- kanina kasi... Although tapos yung sa ano namin sa salary adjustment namin although na tapos na kami mag-usap ng boss ko but I feel na parang kulang eh sa so, dami ng ginagawa ko parang hindi siya worth. So I know mahihirapan yung boss ko sa sa request ko but then uh, sinabi ko that and then sabi niya dun sa additional na hiningi ko sa kanya I think pag-isipan daw niya by Monday. So, hindi naman kalaki yan. Pero, yun, uh, positive naman ako dibibig niya. Kasi, kanina sabi ko naman sa kanya, yung duties and responsibilities ko naman is nagkampanan ko. I think I deserve, I deserve naman na mabigyan ako ng tamang, tamang grace na sapat, sa, sapat pa sa akin. And then, sa anxiety naman, hindi na rin ako, hindi naman na nag-aalala pa. Kasi, uh, tawag nito, iyon, kasi sa nito naman kasi ako na ano eh, at the time na yun nga, pagdating kasi ng ano, ipon ako ng ipon para in case nga na dumating nga yung, yung ano, is makaprovide ko pa rin yung family ko, makasurvive pa rin kami. Yung ganyan. So, so hindi ako nag-anxiety na, kunya rin nawala ng work si CJ, hindi ako nag-aalala kasi nga, pinagandaan ko na to, noon pa, na yun nga sabi ko rin sa kanila na most of the time mag-ipon din sila para pagdating ng rainy days, pag, Rainy days, na, uh, stable pa rin kami. Ayaw mo yan. And then, ano pa ba? Ano ba yung pag-ibang uli? Ang natutunan ko dito sa devotion talaga, ito na-touch ako ng gusto dito, yung sa um, watch your mouth. Kasi ako kasi yung tao na napaka, napaka-patient ko, napaka-sensitive kong tao. I don't, I, hindi ako talagang sasalita ng, ano eh, ng makakasakit. To the point na talagang Sobrang tahimik ko na eh. Kasi kung wala rin lang ako sasabihin ng maganda or ano sa tao, tumahimik na lang ako. Pero mas maganda siguro mag, 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 ano ko dahil, magbigay ka man ng salita sa isang tao na yung, yung maganda na kasi yung word kasi it can make or break the person eh. So, so mas maganda siguro na maganda na lang lumabas eh. Pero wag naman yung bola-bola. Hindi nang bubuo. Yung nabubola ka lang. Hindi naman ganda. Tapos, isa pa yung sa naging regrets ko kasi before alam ko na yan eh na nasabi ko sa sarili ko na never na never ako magsasalita ng masakit. Pero umapot kasi ako sa point na alam, al, al, alam ko na once na nabitawan ko na yung napakasakit na salita na yun, hindi ko na siya mababay. Para siya bulak na once na nag-scatter na siya, hindi mo na siya maano, ma, makukuha ulit, maiipon. So, so siguro sa so Sobrang galit ko noon, saka pagod na rin kasi ako na yun. Sumbaga, there's yung instance sa buhay ko na uh, yung taong malapit sa iyo, yung mahal mo. Tapos parang napagod ka na, napagod na kasi ako na ano, yung sa, sa taas ng lipad niya at ano, parang nakakalimutan na niya ako to the point na talagang hindi ko na siya maabot eh. So talaga bumawi ako sa kanya, talagang ginamit ko na talaga yung word. Mas sa kanya sa kanya para at least maramdaman din yung importance ko. Kaya lang, it's, ngayon na, na nabanggit ko na, regrets ko na lang, now that we're okay, but then pag nakikita ko siya na may problema or nasasaktan, tapos makikita ko na siya, masasaktan na ako at the same time, naalala ko yung nabanggit ko sa kanya salita na I feel guilty na hindi ko dapat ginawa yan. Pero, nangyari na eh. So, sometimes hindi ko ma- 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 mapatawad na rin ang sarili ko pagkaganon so i try to forget na lang na sana hindi ko hindi ko naggawa so 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 dapat talaga napakalaga talaga na yung watch our mouth ay uh, hindi po thank you po Amen. thank you brother James no tama ako ay agree no sa less talk less seen 
Yeah, tama si Brother James Tan. So, mukha napakadaming natututunan nating lahat. Brother James, pumili ka na ng next victim natin. <laughs> Nakamute ka, bro. Ako na lang po, uh, si um, Tita Rose po. <laughs> Tita Rose. Tita Rose, it's your turn. Ako, pasensya na po kayo. Hindi ako masyadong nasa work po ako. Pero I'll try my best po na makapagsalita na maayos. Um, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Ang ginawa ko pong fasting po is partial fasting po. Uh, Nag-i-skip po ako ng meal. And then, um, ang prayer request ko po, unang-una po yung dad ko po para sa surgery niya po na maging successful. And ikalawa po yung dinala, dinalangin ko po sa Panginoon na mas turuan po ako maging humble po at uh, matuto po akong lumapit sa mga taong nagagawang ko ng pagkakamali. And uh, yung sa forgiveness din po, din, dinasal ko rin po yan. Uh, sa maraming taon po, marami po akong pinagdaanan din na, na madalas po na hindi po ako makapag-let go of all the pain na nasa puso ko po. At makapag, hindi rin po ako makapagpatawat. Uh, dinasal ko po yan sa Panginoon natin na turuan po akong makapagpatawat. at makapaglet ko ng tuloy-tuloy dahil tama po yung sinabi ni Pastor na ikaw din lang po ang mahihirapan. Hindi ka po minsan makatulog sa gabi kung may mga dinadala ka sa dibdib mo po. And then itinaas ko rin po sa kanya, inilin ko po na yung anak ko po na tulungan po si Lauren sa kanyang anxiety. And um, ang take away ko naman po yung sa lahat ng pagsubok pong dumarating na matuto po tayong magtiwala sa Panginoon. At uh, in God's time po, kung hindi pa po ready, minsan po kasi pinipilit natin na kung tayo nagkamali at humingi tayo ng tawad, kung hindi pa rin po ready yung taong hiningan po natin ng, pagpapat, ng kapatawaran po. Uh, in God's time po, darating po yung panahon na sila po mismo magbibigay po sa iyo ng pagpapatawad. ng kusa po na maging matyaga po tayo na maghintay kung ang tao ay hindi pa ready wag po tayong susuko uh, at saka po yung kung nakon, katulad po sa conviction ko po sana po yun, isa po yung sa take away ko na mapanindigan ko at pagtiwala sa Panginoon na lagi po na nandyan siya nagabayan tayo Uh, hindi po madali na ma- madalas po natetem tayo pero nandiyan po ang Panginoon at patuloy po tayong ginagabayan para hindi po tayo magkamali at tahakin natin po ang tamang landas. Yun lang po. Amen, Sister Rose. Napakaganda naman. Uh, sino po ang napili niyo, Sister Rose? Um, <laughs> butihing asawa ko po. Ang buting asawa. <laughs> well, pareho po kami ng fasting style ni Mrs. Uh, nag-partial fast kami. Pero ako, no rice din. Kaya lang ko, nung first two days, naalala ko nung... <clears throat> excuse me. Nag-fast si Jesus... ng 40 days and 40 nights doon siya na tempt eko yung first two days pa lang day one tempted na ako talagang lagi po ako nagagalit lagi akong may initi ng ulo kasi ang napili kong e-skip is yung breakfast so Monday actually lumabas po kami sinamahan ko yung parents ko sa Sam's Club kasama din ko si Rose na parang balisa ako lagi And lahat ng may mag-take, mag-overtake sa akin, nagagalit ako. So, iniisip ko, ano ba nangyayari sa akin? Kasi normally, if I would skip a meal, 
hindi naman ako ganito. Pero with the goal na umaga pa lang syempre, before ng, basta pagkagising ko, nagdadasal ako, iba ho yung pakiramdam ko na parang lagi akong may kalaban. And ang, ang na-realize ko lang ho talaga was we become more sensitive pag nag-fasting ho tayo. So, nakikinig naman po ako sa kung ano sinasabi ng Diyos sa akin. Kaya lang ho, may mga bagay sa isip ko na nanlalaban ho talaga. So, ang prayer request ko ho is yung kami ho mag-asawa na sana sabay kaming mag sa Panginoon na yung relationship namin sa Kanya ay mas maging mainit pa ho. Yun ho yun. And then yung siyempre forgiveness dahil may mga nakasalamuha tayo na hindi naman ho tayo ginagawa ng maganda kahit na wala tayong atraso sa kanila. And hopefully maging mas maluwag sa akin na magpatawad na lang. Kasi kagaya ng lesson about forgiveness na nasabi na yun ho ng lola ko yan na if you have an unforgiving heart it doesn't matter how hard you pray kasi ho, hindi naman talaga lumulusot yung dasal mo and I felt that na the Holy Spirit was grieving na usually ho when I pray I have this sensation of electricity running down the back of my neck Halos ho lagi tuwing nagdadasal ako may ganon. Pero every time I'm holding grudge against somebody, parang wala lang. I'm just uttering words na nonsense. So, yun lang po. Thank you, Brother Dave. Sister Rose, thank you. Sino po ang gusto niyong sumunod, Brother Dave? Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure si Justin nasa kabilang kwarto lang po. So, siya na. Justine, your turn. Okay. Um, my uh, my my fasting style was uh, I didn't eat after six, and uh, I didn't eat any snacks or or drink any milk. Um, and then my uh. My prayer request was that um, God would change my uh, attitudes and mindset. And uh, I wanted to be closer to God this week. Um, be, uh, be more sensitive in listening. Um, my takeaway from the devotions was related to watching my mouth. Um, I learned um, the importance of, of uh, speaking what God, what would glorify God um, instead of just speaking whatever comes to your mind first. Uh, I, I was reminded of the importance of praying, especially for uh, before speaking, especially if if you're gonna speak at uh, something important, uh, because uh, our tongues are very powerful. They can either speak life or death, so uh, we should choose. We should choose to encourage, not to break down a person. Thank you, Justine. Uh, who's next, Justine? Who's your uh, choice? I'll pick my great grandma. Great grandma, Tita Fe, it's your turn. Thank you, Lord. Um, several years ago, I used to be fasting a week or so, you know, but this time I refrained from 
fasting uh, more than a day. So most of the time this week, I just try to, to fast during breakfast. And God, I know, understands that. Mm. My prayer request is that um, we will all, we, the people, um, the children of God and in our particular church, that we will make it really one of our strongest goals to really pursue what our pastor has uh, has uh, uh, planned, you know, along with 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 the the pastors, the other pastors, to to really um, do something even better than we had been doing in the past two years or three years. That we will. Be able to do what God has set for us to do for 2023. And we expect the best uh, from the Lord for the sake of our people this year. So the most important thing is that we can continue to pray and ask the Lord that he will make everything possible for his glory. And I also would like uh, to request that, um, you know, it is a fact that the, comp the, the, the enemy always attacks us. And so I request that especially the leaders, the pastors, and whoever, you know, among us to continue to pray for one another because the enemy always attacks, especially when we do something for the Lord, when we make a step for him, the enemy attacks and he attacks everybody. He attacks everybody. And uh, that's another thing that I would like to request that you will help me pray that those who have not yet accepted Jesus as their personal savior across the world, that they will realize that this is a time that they should come to the Lord and be repentant, just like the thief on Calvary, that each unbeliever, each unbeliever will be repentant and realize the need of a savior. Kaya, when I was, when I got sick in the hospital, when I was in the hospital, I was sick. One of the things that I prayed for was for the, all those who have not yet, who do not know the Lord yet across the world, that they will be touched by the gospel, that they will have an opportunity to hear the gospel of salvation, because it hurts me, you know, it, it, it devastates me to think that someone will go to hell. I want everybody to go to Jesus. So I, I, I request that all of us continue for everybody, even Christians who are tempted, that they become strong, that they continue to, to, to read the Bible, to hear the, the preaching of the word so that they can resist the temptation of the world and they can stabilize themselves you know in the faith that they are in now that no temptations can draw them away from the lord it is important that we we stick we 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 stay we walk closer to god even much closer because the coming of the lord jesus christ is coming you know and there will be a lot of trials I can I request also that we continue to pray for our pastors and the people who are with us, the leaders and so on, because I feel in my heart that that is necessary 
times are becoming bad. And so that's one of the requests that I'm making. My takeaway is that the tongue is the tongue as is described is um, can be a, a, a tool, you know, to bring forth death or life. I'm thinking of the tongue that needs to be dedicated to the Lord so that it can it cannot say words that will kill the enthusiasm the love of a person for god that instead our tongues will in try to encourage people whatever we say it will encourage people in their faith so i i do remember i relate i i do remember i should say uh, the scripture that says, forget not the assembling of saints together, and so on and so forth. Um, not only attending the church services, you know, the, the worship services that we have on Sundays, but also uh, Bible study, uh, prayer, the prayer Zoom that we have. All of this that is a setting where the believers gather together is very important. We use our tongue to encourage one another, to bear one another's burden, to edify one another. And so that the church will be made healthy and that each one being edified will also give glory to the Lord. And that's my takeaway. Um, so the tongue. And then another is the lion's den. The lion's den is a story that demonstrates the um, the uh, the lesson of being in the situation or having deliverance in the situation, just like uh, the story about Daniel. Um, Daniel was in that den of lions. He was in that situation, he would have died. He would have been killed. But in that situation, God gave him deliverance. So in our case as well, we may be in the midst of COVID and the, and the uh, variant ng Omicron, which is more severe, more serious. We may be in that kind of situation but if our faith continues to be in the Lord, he delivers us right in the situation. So that is what I got from the story of the lion's den. Anxiety, when we trust the Lord and we have experienced the love of God from time to time, from year to year, um, anxiety is not, does not bother us because we trust in the Lord. Forgiveness, very important subject. There is a scripture that says, when you stand before the Lord praying, forgive anyone that has, that has done anything against you. Because the prayers don't go up. Our prayers are like what they call it, the scent that when God accepts the prayer, it goes up smoothly and up and up and up, and God takes care of that. And that's all, Pastor. Thank you, Tita Fe. Tita Fe, sino pa yung pinipili nyo? The next. Ah? <laughs> sino yung pinipili ko, ha? Wala akong nakikita kasi, Pastor. Ah... Uh... Pwede po si... Irene, brother, brother Rene, nandiyan ba? Rene Francisco Jr. Kiko, it's your turn. Ni yung daddy niya po. Ah, wala po. Ah, wala. Ah, wala dyan. Wala po. Ah, wala oh, siya. Anak po ito, anak. Um, Isishare ko po yung fasting. Um, ah, si Kiko, okay. Si Kiko, uh, Kiko. Ano nang po? Tawad uh, na Um, yung, 
yung fasting ko po ay partial din. So, tina-challenge ko lang yung no breakfast every day. Tapos, uh, prayer request naman po, um, yung, yung mam ko at yung pamangkin ko sa Pilipinas, ay makaiwas po sila sa flu. At sa amin din po, um, and then, at sa, at sa city scan po ng tatay ko yung result. Sa, ano niya, sa kidney. And then, take away naman po, it's ano, yung, yung watch, uh, maalaga po yung watch your mouth kasi, para makaiwas po sa mga sinasabi natin na hindi maganda. And then, ano lang po ako, timing lang din ako. Niminsan ko lang narinig ng mga na hindi maganda. Pero, I will never use that. Yun lang. Ayun lang po. Yan na yung takeaway. Thank you, Kiko. Sinong pinipili mo, Kiko? Who's next? Um, wait. Baka si... Brad, si Ate Dar? Ate Dar ba? Sister Darren, it's your turn. Um, ang fasting ko po, ang style of fasting, hindi pa ako nag-breakfast. Tapos po, yung prayer request ko, um, uh, that God would be able to use my time wisely since hindi na talaga ako nakapag morning devotion and kasi because busy na, may dalawang natupag sa maga. So, pinipay ko talaga na si Lord um, turuan niya ako na kung paano gamitin yung time man management na lalo na most, most importantly sa pagde-devotion nga yung ginagawa ko dati. And yung ano, yung take away ko po sa tatlong topic natin. Sa forgiveness, I think po, um, kailangan po talaga natin magpatawad. Kasi si Lord nga nagpatawad na sa atin. Um, how much more tayo lang na um, na create niya, na ano, na kinorgive niya rin. And Ang kailangan natin magpatawad, I think now is the time to forgive one another because hindi mo alam tomorrow that person na <clears throat> wala na pala or ikaw hindi natin alam yung buhay natin. So kailangan talaga natin magpatawad. And <clears throat> dun sa second topic na worry, uh, anxieties, let not worries uh, rule in our hearts. Instead, um, um, always remember that si Lord is in control of everything. And the last na topic natin, uh, which is watch your mouth. Um, instead of using harsh words or um, mga, ba, mga salita na makapag uh, disappoint sa, sa fellow, fellow natin, Siguro, ano po, um, let's be an encourager na lang. Um, let's encourage one another by saying um, what is true, what is pure. No, we're in yung spirit nila, malit up din. And isa rin po yung sa watch your mouth na sinabi doon, biblically, uh, out of the abundance of heart, the mouth speaks yung talaga yung ano natin. Lagay sa mind natin na uh, makikilala tayo kung sino tayo. Paano yung lumalabas sa bibig natin. Yun din yung ano na sa puso natin. Yan lang po. Ang pipiliin ko. Sino ang pipiliin mo? Uh, si ano? Ayun. Si Giselle. Giselle, your turn. Teacher Giselle. 
evening po. Um, yung fasting style ko po is yung partial fast din. And mainly po, I prayed for my kuya and sister-in-law's fast processing na makapunta po dito and praise the Lord. Nagrabi po talaga na ang daming progress po this week sa kanila. And also my studies po since napakahirap na po talaga and um, mainly remove all my worries and anxieties. Tapos take away ko naman po or what really stood out to me po among the topics um, that we discuss is Daniel's story in the lion's den. Um, Rinalate ko po siya, lalo na po ngayon in this modern world, pag nag-stand out tayo because of our faith, then there would be a lot of times that they would target our faith, um, mock us for our beliefs, and if that happens, we should be should be like Daniel. And he's very inspiring po kasi kahit aware si Daniel sa um, mangyayari sa kanya if he doesn't follow King Darius. Um, he did not shy away from his faith, yet this made it stronger as he trusted God's promise. So, um, we have to strengthen our foundation in Christ, uh, understand and trust God. And if ginawa po natin yun, he will reward us for being a faithful servant. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Giselle. Who's, who's next, Giselle? <coughs> Sinong napili? Ate Faith po. Ate Faith, it's your turn. Si Giselle. Ah, uh, wait lang. Ayun. Ako po, uh, I did Daniel fasting. So, Daniel fasting po kasi nag-aaral. Puyat, ganyan. So, fruits, vegetables, ganyan. So, tapos, um, yung, yung the things that I'm fasting for. So, nilista ko naman po siya. Like, uh, first is yung greater uh, intimacy with the Lord yung, and uh, specifically to be more sensitive to uh, sensitivity lang sa plants niya, leading niya for me this year. Kasi last year, I've experienced that. Eh, para I have no idea what to expect for 2022. And uh, yun lang, I was just listening to the Lord and ayun, I ended up here. So, Yan lang, just being sensitive to God. And second is grace, excellence. Kasi I'm still adjusting. Like, uh, especially next, I started studying, no? So I'm really having a hard time with uh, the requirements. The It's it's a different culture po kasi yung ano dito eh. Yung, yung, um, yung academics and then the requirements. Uh, time management, the culture, the environment, wala akong kasama sa bahay, mga ganun, ang dami pong adjustment. So yung grace, excellence, and uh, provision, continuous provision for my stay here. And then uh, I'm praying also for good health for everyone, kasi especially for, with my family. No? Kasi last year, my mom, got, my mom and my brother got operated. So I, I'm believing that this year wala pong magkakasakit sa family. And then fruitfulness in ministry. Like I'm excited for the upcoming discipleships at church. So I'm also believing for to be able to jumpstart the discipleship dito sa, sa US. Kasi I've been doing that in, in the Philippines po. So I'm excited for that. I'm even excited for yung mga in-person classes ko. Kasi I, I'll be able to meet other people and hopefully invite them to church. Tapos, um, ano pa ba? Ayun, protection po. Kasi honestly, ibang-iba po pala dito sa Amerika. Parang, ano, natatakot ako. I mean, nakakatakot kasi yung, yung violence. I mean, may ganun din naman sa Pilipinas. Pero not as, not as parang prevalent dito. Parang ang rampant nung, nung, nung nakakatakot mag-commute. Eh, mag-commute po ako papunta sa klase. So, yung protection... Uh, sa akin, sa family ko, yung sister ko nagbabike pag madaling araw, yung brother ko umuwi din ng madaling araw. So yung uh, protection po sa family. And then finally, ano multiplication sa church, yung growth and just uh, yung maging impactful yung, yung church natin sa community. 
and then more people to be saved, salvation for my my family members and for the people that we get to encounter. Now, sa takeaway ko po, I I what what really stood out for me was yung session about um watching our mouth. And naalala ko po yung sa James 3 verse 10, yung sabi doon na from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Yung parang I'm reminded, no, oo nga, no, out of the same mouth would come blessing and curses. So, um, parang for, from yesterday, I'm reminded to pause na every time I'm in the heat of the emotion, yung instead of sabayan yung emotion nung nakaka sagutan ko yung to pause tapos to listen and um, to listen not just to the words na sinasabi but to listen to the tone what, what what's going on sa mind niya ano yung pinagdadaanan niya so that i'm able to react in a more parang ano ba in a wiser parang mas mas careful po ako sa sa words and to be more intentional in encouraging other people like to be generous with encouragement, to be generous in um, um, commending people and speaking the word to word of God to them. So yun lang po. So yun po yung take away ko from our prayer and fasting. So ang tatawagin ko po ay Pastor Rave. <laughs> si Pastor Rave. Hey, Ninang Rave, it's your turn. Thank you, Faith. Alam mo tatawagin mo ako eh. <laughs> wala. Wala nang natira eh. Kunti na lang. Okay. Um, sa amin naman eh, yung fasting style namin is uh, combination ng uh, number one, yung no meat, no rice. And then, uh, isang bilis lang kaming kumakain actually. Sa lunch lang kasi may merong work. Uh, medyo kailangan yun. And then, uh, actually, yung first day, kalimutan ko. Tapos, eh, binawadan ako ni Mrs. ng karne. Sabi ko, okay lang. Lunch lang. Tapos, wala, nang, wala namang dinner, walang breakfast. So, bawi na lang. Uh, yun namang, ano namin, yung prayer naman namin ay prayer request namin. Uh, actually, yung personal prayer request ko is uh, yung God will provide uh, wisdom sa mga church members, especially that we're growing now. And then yung uh, guidance, kasi mahirap din yung lumalaki tayo at uh, andin dyan sa church na sana yung uh, Christian guidance bibigyan ng Panginoon sa bawat isa ng mga members natin. And then, uh, yung protection sa bawat isa kasi lalo na ngayon eh, medyo ano yung flu. So, uh, hinihing ko sa Panginoon na yung mga members natin protectionan sa, sa sakit. Uh, bigyan ng strength para makapaglaban doon sa kung ano yung sakit na dadapo sa, sa atin. And yung next is yung uh, healing doon sa mga nagkaroon ng sakit sa church natin. Pinagpipray ko sa Panginoon na uh, gumaling na sila ng mabilis at uh, gumalik na yung lakas nila. So yun po yung mga prayers na inano ko actually kasi... Uh, parang wala naman akong lahat binibigyan na sa akin ng Panginoon eh. So, papasalamat ako doon. Um, Pinagpipray ko yung help din ng pamilya ko. At saka, pinagpipray ko din yung uh, class 101 natin na sana makumpleto na. Uh, medyo nadidili tayo. Ng, at I mean ako, yung pagpaprocess ko nung uh, PowerPoint eh, parati akong nadidistract kung ano man. So, I've been praying for that na sana uh, ma-process na yun. So, by February siguro, tutuloy-tuloy na yung class 101 natin, yung last part. 
saka para naman doon sa mga new members ay mabigyan na rin sila ng uh, bagong class. Uh, ang take away ko naman ay dito sa Lions din. Uh, sabi nga dito sa Psalms 118.8, uh, it is better to trust in the Lord than to take confidence in men. So, um, as a Christian, eh, kung tinanggap natin ng Panginoon, sana eh, di ba? Dapat binigay natin sa Kanya lahat kaya kang mamangyari. Hindi tayo dapat matakot, hindi tayo dapat magalala. Dahil eh, yung blood of Jesus, eh, kinocover na sa atin, yung protection niya binibigay na sa atin. Uh, naalala ko lang nung college ako, eh, pinama ko rin yung mga Christian. Eh. Kasi yung harap ng school namin, eh, merong First Bible Baptist Church sa FEU. Uh, pag kumakanta na sila eh, parang pinagtatawanan ko and then at the end eh, naging kristyano ako eh hindi pala ang gagawin ko so medyo naiyak din ako nung time na yun nung tinanggap ko yung Panginoon kasi I've been making Christians and then I just realized na yung pala ang ginagawa natin so yun lang yung masasabi ko sa inyo na uh, medyo ginagawin tayo pero maraming salamat at uh, sa inyong lahat at na tapos natin tong uh, fasting and prayer natin for one week. At congratulations doon sa lahat na nag-survive. Yan lang po. Thank you, Pastor Ray. Sino na napili mo, <laughs> Pastor Ray? Uh, sino ba bang wala? Si Ive, si Pastor Clint, Pastor Bong, Sister Susan, tsaka si Joshua. Oh, si Brother Ibis na lang kasi andito siya. Yan. Ibis, Brother Ibis, kising ko ba? Brother Ibis, pwede ka bang makapag-share or baka nag-ano siya, nag-work siya ngayon? Baka na sa ano, Pastor. Si ano na lang, si Pastor Aklin na lang. Okay. So, Clint, it's your turn. <laughs> I revealed. <laughs> um, Gandang gabi po. Gandang gabi po. Thank you po. <laughs> Paano na bulit? Um, the kind of fast that I did, I did a partial fast. I fasted dinner because um, since I'm going to school and I'm driving a lot, I should <laughs> I should be eating so that I don't get into accidents. Um, so I did a partial fast for for dinner, and then uh, what I was praying for was um, just uh just provision from the lord this week and as well as um for god to fill in the faith and to fill in the obedience um in this time it's the it's my first week back in school so it's been a little bit hard um adjusting um it seems like this semester has a lot more uh challenges challenges posed for us so it's it's been an adjustment and then also we still haven't fully it, it took a while for us to hear back um what our grades were so that was like a lot of anxiety um being given so um i also I was also praying for um just uh our church and the ways that we're growing and um i was just uh, and mostly really i was it was a lot of prayers for protection, like what Ate Faith was saying and everybody was saying, just to echo how, I feel like there's just been a lot of cases that really sparked a lot of violence. And that's just been very heavy on my own heart. Um, just because that those are things that you you know you can't control any of those. So what do we do when it when it happens? And so 
to just really, I was just, I was just asking God for wisdom in that and, you know, how to comfort people as well as how to um, teach people how to be vigilant in times of very dangerous times. So uh, those were my prayer requests. Uh, and then my biggest takeaway from this week was um, I liked the watching your words one. Um, I think that one was really impactful for everybody just because it's something that um, we kind of do, we, we do very unintentionally every day. And so it was a very good reminder to keep ourselves in check on what we say. Um, one of the biggest things that my parents always told me is whatever, whatever is in your heart, but hello, like whatever is in your heart, there your treasure is. Yeah. So it's like you know, whatever you say, whatever you do, whatever you think, that's that's what's in your heart. So that's what comes out of you. So when you cultivate those kind of things that are apart from God and is unholy, then those are the kind of things that you end up saying. And those are the kind of things that you end up doing and end up thinking. And so it was a good reminder to just, to always um, try to cultivate a space in our hearts and a space in our own rhythms on, on how to be not like that. Um, as well as uh, what they, they were saying about Lion's Den, I think that was really good. Uh, just because I feel like more so being back into like, um, with a lot of people who don't believe it's it's a it's a big challenge to really stand your ground and be the one who who doesn't talk bad about a person who doesn't go out and you know do and make bad decisions so it's 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 a challenge to be um to walk like Jesus and to live like Jesus so that was really good so I'm gonna call on Joshua Joshua are you there Gising pa ba si Joshua? <laughs> Baka si Pastor Bong. Oh, sige, si Pastor Bong. Pastor Sino Bong. mo ba na titiro? Dalawa na lang sila. Oh. <coughs> uh, good evening sa inyo lahat. Uh, sa akin naman, ang Kwan Kono, ang style of fasting ko, uh, skip, uh, they skip namin yung rice. So, ang effect nun is, uh, nag-lose ako ng weight. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yung um, Kwan ko, yung prayer request ko uh, was uh, yung uh, physical healing for family members as uh, Kate, Terry, at saka Karen. Tapos, um, for Karen to have a close and personal relationship with God, um, sana mapalapit siya sa Diyos, sa inang ko namin. Pangatlo, uh, patapos yung job ko, uh, uh, I was trying for a better job opportunity uh, so I can have, and also to have a more uh, personal time to spend with my family in, in serving God uh, in, uh, in different ministries. Tapos yung huli is yung congregation natin that we could have be, we could have uh, more space to use the church sa facility ba, uh, church facility para, para hindi naman tayo parang kwan ba, parang tatabo yan or parang squatter kung saan na lang ang open uh, um, parang medyo kwan ba um, uh, mahirap, mahirap tignan so um, yung mga touches naman na kwan ko na may impact sa akin is yung about anxiety uh, tsaka yung uh, watch your mouth. Yung sa anxiety kasi, uh, madalas ako mag-worry sa, sa trabaho. Although, yung worries kong, mga worries ko, hindi naman nagkakatotoo pagkarating ko sa job site. Um, trabaho, uh, God has been uh, good. Yung negative thoughts ko, uh, it turned out na false alarm. Parang ganun ba? Then, second is yung watch your mouth. Actually, uh, watch your thoughts. Um, although hindi ako nagsasabi ng verbally, pagka nakikita ko yung mabait kong avo na inis ako, 
ka ko kailan kailan ka ba titi no parang ganun ba kailan ka ba kwan kailan ka ba papaluin ng Diyos yung negative thoughts ba about him dahil nga sa parang abusive siya saka every time na magkikita kita kami or umiwit kami nandoon yung mura left and right parang sa kanya eh, parang parang mani na kinakain niya yun so yung take away ko is uh, fear not uh, God is in control ikaw nga sa Philippians uh, 4 6 uh, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God so ayun ang kwan ko yun ang masasabi ko at salamat Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bong. Napakaganda ng ating mga uh, takeaway. No? Napakaganda ng ating mga natutunan. At uh, lahat naging kapakipakinabang ang ating prayer and fasting week. So, I'm sure, yung iba sa inyo, ngayon pa lang, excited na na magkaroon ng uh, prayer and fasting. Uh, uh, si Tita Susan, no nga pala. Nandiyan pa ba si Tita Susan? Tita Susan, saan po kayo? Parang nag-out ata si Tita Susan. Uh, anyway, uh, yun, uh, reminder lang na bago tayo manalangin sa ating pagtatapos, uh, uh, on uh, tomorrow, Saturday, lahat ng mga lalaki, meron tayong 2 p.m. na usapang lalaki, doon tayo sa office. No? At uh, Sunday, don't forget to wear your rubber shoes. Walang stiletos or walang high heels or walang leather shoes and uh, wear black uh, jacket or hoodie or your La Filnas uh, Simbang Pinoy hoodie. Alright? Manalangin po tayo. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa gabi na to. Salamat sa pagtatapos namin, Panginoon, sa prayer and fasting. Salamat, Panginoon, sa uh, lahat ng mga natutunan namin uh, na ay itong lahat ng ito ay may isa puso at may isa buhay namin. Salamat sa mga pamilya na to na hindi lang naman kami lumalaki sa quantity, ganun din sa quality kung saan tumataas ang aming awareness, ang aming spiritual awareness, ang aming spiritual growth dahil sa inyo, Panginoon. Maraming salamat sa pagmamahal nyo. Hayaan nyo, Panginoon, na ibigay, na, ibigay ko po sa, sa pamagitan ng kapangyarihan nyo ang inyong benediction ngayong gabi. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Congratulations at uh, kayo nag-survive ng limang araw. Kung gusto niyong ituloy, okay lang, di ba? Uh, kasi may, minsan parang may feeling na parang bitin ka ba, di ba? Na parang okay lang yun kung gusto mong gawing seven days, gusto mong gawing uh, 21 days, gusto mong gawing 40 days, it's okay. no? At uh, may bonus pa yan. Maglulus ka ng weight. Alright, so buksan natin mga bintana at tayong lahat ay magpi-picture-picture. Kodakan na tayo. So unang dalawang slides ulit tayo dahil di tayo kasi sa isang frame. So picturean natin ang first slide. Alright, so ano to ha? Ah? Uh, historical. Dahil uh, ito ang ating ano. Ah, si Sister Tina. <laughs> Akala ko si Ives yun. Sister Tina pala yun. <laughs> Alright, sige. Man, uh, manalang tayo. Picture tayo. Okay, one, two, teka, one, two, three, smile. Ayan. Okay, isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Sa isang slide naman. Ilang. Alright. One, two, three, and smile. There you go. Alright. Uh, na, na, nasama ba si na Sister Josie? I mean, admit ka lang. Oo nga. Pumasok ba si na Sister Josie? Tinamaan ba ng picture? Hindi ko. Asan si na Sister Josie? Ayun. 
Okay, God bless you guys. See you tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, congratulations. Natapos na. Night Good night. Bye-bye. Sa Sunday. Sa Sunday, kain na na. Good night. Good night.